Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte. And today I'm back here at the shop. As y'all can see right there, Euro Empire. Y'all make sure y'all go follow them on Instagram, give them a follow. But today we're going to be installing some Eibach Lauren Springs on my BMW M4. I almost said 435. Hey, man, I've been, I've been saying 435 for a long time, man, but I almost got caught up. But M4, M4, F82 M4. So let's go ahead and get to the install. All right, so as y'all can see right here, this is the iBox box that the springs came in. Big, nice red box. So we're gonna go ahead and get these things put on today. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and measure the height of the car in the rear and the front on this surface right here. I don't think this is probably even, so maybe a little off, but I'm gonna try to park the car in the same position um, and then measure it again once the springs are installed. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, everyone, so if y'all can hear in the background these dogs, I don't know what it is. The, my last few videos, I've been having animals all of my videos, man. I mean, I like animals, but goodness. But I got my tape measure out here just trying to measure what the real gap is right now. And as y'all can see right there, it is around 27 inches from the ground part in this location in the front. And as y'all can kind of see as I back up there, there is a good amount of wheel gap. Now, these Eibach lowering springs are only supposed to lower about an inch in the front and about a quarter inch in the back, which is all I really need because I am going to add a front lip on the front of the car, and I don't want to rip it off. So I think having an inch on the front and a quarter inch in the back is going to be enough for me. I don't want the slam look, and I also don't want to rip off my front lip once I get one. So, so it's 27 in the front. Let's do that again. So as y'all see there, right at 27 in the front. So let's go to the rear. See what the rear is. So 27 in the front and 27 in the rear. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty um pretty amazing that the front and rear right now as it sits is the same. So now let's go ahead and get to that install of the iBox Springs. all right everyone so as you can see right here this is what's inside of the pro kit box and this is the pro kit e10200370122 um, springs and i'll be linking those down in the description below so y'all can look, um, check those out if you're interested in getting these but it just kind of give you some um bump stop instructions here and then also down in the box we got some stickers welcome to team ibach yeah they got their social media right there got some stickers definitely not putting these on the car but i might throw them on my laptop or something so then we got the springs right there so these are going to be the two fronts and your two rears on the outside so two fronts and your rear and this other rear is actually being put on right like these are actually going to compress easier up top these are progressive mm. springs these aren't linear gotcha okay so gotcha. when you when you see the difference in in uh, spacing between the coils they're linear springs they're not um or they're i'm sorry they're progressive springs they're not linear gotcha. so the stock ones those are linear springs meaning that no matter how compressed they are they have they, they the same, same spring rate, spring rate yeah. these depending on how compressed they get the spring rate will increase because these coils, see how they have this rubber padding? These mm -hmm. coils will actually touch. Uh, and then you'll only have, the spring rate will actually increase. Gotcha. They'll get stiffer as they get more compressed. So, which kind of, from a daily driving standpoint, typically is like a little bit nicer because you have a little bit softer ride in the beginning of the travel. Mm -hmm. So That's the reason why I went with these because everybody that had ran them said they're probably one of the best ones for daily driving. Daily and I was driving, like, yeah. All right, y'all, so y'all can see right there the iBot 
spring in the rear has been installed and that's kind of what it looks like you see the branding right there the eibach branding spherical joint there mm. but this is a bushing so you want to tighten this when it's in it basically it's with the wheel on the ground so this is just an easy way oh, to get okay. up in the air so pretty much you want this to be pretty much parallel so. cool Weight reduction. This is a spherical joint, so we don't need to loosen that one. Okay. Just this, so we can get full droop when we disconnect this, and then we'll disconnect the uh, sway bar. Okay. Should be all we have to do, and then it should pull down far enough. We'll release the uh, brake lines, um, and then uh, let it hang. Cool. All right, everyone, so as y'all saw right there, we got the iBox springs installed. So now it's time to bring out the tape measure and actually see exactly how low they are right now. Now, right now, it's not gonna be the true indication of how low they can get, only because right now they gotta settle, you know, everything's gotta settle and stuff like that. But we're gonna do a measurement right now. Then I'm gonna come back probably about a week or so later, maybe two weeks, wait for them to fully settle after the alignment and see how low it get. But it's supposed to be around 0.8 to an inch in the front and then around about a half inch, quarter inch to a half inch in the rear so we'll see exactly what it was so when we measured it before it was 27 in the front 27 in the rear um from the ground 27 inches from the ground on the front and the rear so now we're gonna go ahead and measure it now all right so i got the tape measure out right here so measuring probably down the middle of the wheel up to the top it like i said it was at 27 before and now it's about 26 and a half so it's dropped already a half an inch already, and it's gonna settle a little more. But uh, right now it's sitting at about 26 and a half in the front. So now let's check and see how much it is in the rear. The rear actually looks really good. Uh, let's see. All right. All right, so we got it there. And you can kind of see right there where the 27 is. It's a little bit lower. Um, it's about almost a quarter inch like, like they said it was maybe maybe a little bit right at a quarter inch maybe a little more um but that's kind of what they expected in the rear so the rears have settled almost where they're supposed to be and i think i mean y'all let me know what y'all think i think that's perfect all right y'all so y'all saw right there it did lower a little bit in the front so about a half inch already in the front and about a quarter of an inch in the rear man so it's lowered a little bit already i like the way it kind of looks right now and it's going to lower a little bit more man so i think it's going to look perfect i think the ibox springs is the way to go um if you want to do a spring and you want comfortable daily driving